Good morning, YouTube. I'm at my next destination on my American Southwest photography road trip here at the Devil's Golf Course in Death Valley National Park. And it is sunrise. Uh, it hopes to be a pretty nice sunrise. You can see there's nice broad uh, light clouds overhead, but a gap in those clouds to the east. So I'm hoping that when the sun pops over the horizon, it'll uh, shine through that gap and just light up all these clouds. Keeping my fingers crossed, you never really know. Can't see the horizon, don't know what's on that side. If there's other clouds over there that would block the sun. But I've got a composition set up here. Um, I've got a composition set up here with a telescope peak in the background, looking a little bit uh, south of east. And uh, yeah, so now it's just a matter of waiting for the sun to rise and and uh, that should be pretty soon. So looking forward to that. The Devil's Golf Course is a large salt pan on the floor of Death Valley where salt has crystallized from a time when the valley used to be covered by Lake Manly. The salt minerals have been weathered into fantastical shape since then, creating a landscape that only the devil would want to play golf on. As luck would have it, the sun did shine through that gap in the clouds on the eastern horizon, and the basin was bathed in beautiful, warm light. Just a couple of tips for photographing Devil's Golf Course. Um, this is really a great place to have a camera with an automatic uh, focus stacking feature. I don't have that and it's sort of a pain to have to manually adjust all the focus points and by the time you go through that, you know, the lighting has changed. <laughs> so um, great great place for an automa automatic focus stacking feature. Uh, the, it's, Walking out here is pretty, I'd say, dangerous. Uh, it's like walking on razor blades. You do not want to fall uh, or you'll end up cutting your hands. Um, so I'd recommend uh, very sturdy shoes, uh, potentially a trekking pole or using your tripod as a pole um, and just walking slow and carefully um, and maybe not too far. So you don't have to get too far away from the road to get to find good crisp, uh, untrampled uh, uh, crystals so um, but yeah beautiful place uh, great sunrise um, really enjoyed the shooting here also one more tip I uh, I mounted my camera onto my tripod before walking out here and uh, chose a wide-angle lens a, a 16 to 35 millimeter lens and I didn't have to change my lens at all so um, that's what I'd recommend is a 16 35 millimeter mount it beforehand then maybe you don't have to carry a camera bag or fiddle around with lens changes out here. Um, also, the ground is very salty, so you don't necessarily want to uh, put stuff on the, on the ground. Um, at least anything that has any potential for corroding. So, uh, yeah. If you are in the area of photographing Devil's Golf Course, be sure to also consider shooting a sunrise from Dante's view. Lake Manly was back in its full glory when I photographed it here in January 2024. And a great afternoon of landscape photography can also be found near the Devil's Golf Course on the scenic Artists Drive. These photos were made at Artists Palette in evening light. Thanks for joining me on this stop of my American Southwest landscape photography road trip. Be sure to check out the many other episodes in this series as we explore and photograph landscapes in California, Arizona, and Utah.